What is going on everybody? Robbie here and today we are taking a look at Mega Constructs Heroes Aliens uh, Marine. It just says Marine, which is weird. It says Colonial Marine right here. Colonial Space Marine and Alien Xenomorph. And I am super duper pooper looper excited <laughs> about uh, these figures. I, I cannot stress that enough. I uh, You know, since I saw these on display at, uh, I think it was San Diego Comic-Con, uh, I've just been, like, destroying furniture and, and chewing on light bulbs and things until these guys have been available. And I am so, so excited to have them in hand for you today. So... We're taking a quick look at the packaging. It is a simple card bubble packaging uh, with just the single figure inside of it. You can tell right away that the alien is quite a bit larger than the marine, as it should be. It's a nice, uh, nice change in size there. Um, I have some comments about the alien. I'll get into that once we get it all out of the package. The space marine here, the colonial marine. Uh, Unnamed, just random Colonial Marine. I'm going to go with maybe Wizbaski. Like, I think that's, you know, pretty cool. And he does come with quite a bit of accessories. This looks like maybe... I'm not entirely sure. I'll know a little bit better once I get it out of the, the packaging. But it looks maybe like... Uh, I'm not sure if this is meant to be the... Uh, what's it, the, the tracker? The motion tracker? Or... Uh, maybe like one of the, the light things or something, or maybe like a mount for his gun. I'm not entirely sure, so I'll uh, I'll get into that a bit more once he's out of the package as well. And the alien here, you can see, comes with two face huggers. One that is posed to go over a micro figure's head, and then one that's just splayed out, kind of in, you know, as if it's running towards you. And Alien does come with these nice big claw pieces, so we'll get into that in a little bit as well. And just so you know. I'm going to put this right up here so you can check out those UPCs if you want to write them down or take a screenshot, whatever. So you can check around for these guys at your, at your local stores and things. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get these guys open and we're going to check them out in just a moment. All right, guys, here we go. The Colonial Marine and Alien Xenomorph. <laughs> I am super excited about these figures. So let's start with the Colonial Marine uh, first. And as I said before, he is just an unnamed Colonial Marine. He may be one of the ones from the video games. I don't I don't know. I'm just going to call him Wisbowski because I always remembered that name from Aliens when uh, Hicks is just like yelling at him because uh, he's, you know dead <laughs> so um also it does turn out that yes i was my first instinct was correct this is one of the lights uh you know it's, it's one of the body lights that just plugs onto the back of the marine it was not the uh uh tracker that for some reason the name of which like i just can't the motion tracker like just i can't possibly name motion tracker in my head it's just not working so i don't know what's up with that but um you can take a look at the uh, armor here. Some really nice printing on the armor. You've got some little bullets on there. They've got the nice clips and things that hold all the armor onto the body and on the back as well. And this nice little uh, the light system with the carrying handle so they can carry it around uh, with them. And look at this flipping pulse rifle absolutely gorgeous i love the sculpting i love the paint work the paint is very simple but it's very effective um if it were missing one thing i'd say maybe just a little red dot on there to kind of uh kind of infer the digital readout for the ammunition store but not a big deal at all they got the uh uh the knee pads like just spot on everything is just great uh, and again, we've got our helmet up here with the camera on top, the body cam, and uh, just a really nice job with the paintwork on there as well. Some nice camo, even goes down the, the back of the neck. So really, really nice work. And this does just pop right off, which is great because we get some accessories with this. Actually, we don't get accessories with this guy. The accessories we get with this guy are the pulse rifle and the uh, 
the the light the the torch here uh all the accessories come with the xenomorph which is crazy this dude comes with a ton of stuff so we'll get into that in just a moment let's like kind of flow into it so here is the marine and honestly I don't think I have any complaints about the Marine other than that little readout that I mentioned. Uh, I would love to see him come with maybe uh, just one of the wrist braces. Uh, that, that could kind of be the tracking uh, watch that you know they featured in the movie. Or, oh, he does come with a knife as well. Um, <clears throat> or at least the motion tracker would have been great to have him come with as well. Uh, but as I mentioned in... Uh, the Star Trek reviews with Captain Picard, I'm hoping that maybe some of those pieces were omitted uh, because we're getting bigger sets down the road. I don't know that that's the case. I don't have any confirmation on that. I have been tweeting like a jerk all the time to uh, Mega Constructs about the Aliens line, and they've been, they've been pretty tight-lipped about it, so, uh, you know, that's that's fine. That's, you know, what they have to do, but... Uh, I would love to see it. Let me just say that right now. I would love to see uh, a full, uh, not only a signature set, which could be, say, the, um, the, uh, the, the aircraft that they have. You know, uh, I don't remember the name of the aircraft. I apologize. But if you can have that aircraft with, say, and I wouldn't like to have necessarily a brick-built alien queen. Uh, I would like to have like a micro figure version of an alien queen uh so it's just like a small action figure basically um so if it came with that and you know maybe a power loader you know just a signature set uh, but i would love absolutely to see like an apc set or you know just uh maybe like a, a sewer system set like or, or the um the lab set where you could have like ceiling panels that drop down that could have the aliens inside it or uh you know any any kind of thing like that um i think would be absolutely fantastic even even if they did a signature set for like the uh the nostromo escape craft or something you know just anything anything i'll take anything <laughs> but what i really want to see is more of the marines i want to see ripley i want to see newt i want to see hicks i want to see bishop I, I just all of those people in micro figure form because it's just like i feel like this is almost the perfect medium to have them in especially with mega constructs and their ability to make amazing looking uh military vehicles and craft uh, out of you know their brick system which i think is just absolutely fantastic so all of that said <laughs> the hat comes off <laughs> and the xenomorph comes with a face hugger two face huggers as a matter of fact so you get one with just open legs and it's just made of rubbery just rubbery plastic as you can see there little gross organs uh, and so it can yeah you know, it can skitter like that and then you get the closed one which has the arms wrapped around a head shape and even the tail is in kind of a, a loop here so what you could do is pop this guy's head off his neck pop that right there it goes back on and then whoops a daisy you got too close and now you've got a face hugger on you so this is awesome absolutely awesome the one bummer about this face hugger is that you know because of the way that the arms go you really need a micro figure with like a bald head or no no hair or something like that um which can be not hard to find but definitely in shorter supply than you know figures with like helmets and things like that so Having a removable helmet is a fantastic touch, so that's really, really cool. Uh, so you've got that going on. And you know what? We may as well just leave them like this for the remainder. You can just chill um, right here. You're done. You're done, son. 
You done goofed. You looked into the egg. Uh, so you get those two face huggers. Those come with the xenomorph. So we're going to push them off to the side and talk about this xenomorph a little bit here. The alien, the titular alien from the Alien franchise. And he's really cool. Um, there are some things that I would like better, <laughs> like more, uh, if they had done different things things with this guy so you can kind of see his height is about the same as the marine here but he just seems a lot larger uh just because i mean he's got that long neck of course uh his body is quite a bit more bulky and uh he does of course have this ginormous tail which is absolutely awesome uh, i really do like the tail it's kind of a bendy plastic and it is on a ball joint at the uh, butt over here so you can move it around any way you want to and uh, and kind of swing it around and, and unravel it and do whatever you like so that's really really cool uh, we do have the back protrusions of the xenomorph here uh, made very nice uh, I wasn't expecting it to be like this to be honest with you I was expecting more of like um, this would be just kind of an armor piece that went over a standard micro figure body but no they have a total whole new uh you know kind of thing uh the head i feel is maybe a little small and by that i just mean uh i just feel it's kind of narrow right about here as compared to like a micro figure head and I don't know. I think part of it may be because the neck is so tall and slim. And to be honest with you, I think I would have rather had the alien head with the neck attached and then the neck goes onto a ball joint here. And that might give you a little more range of motion for the head because as it is, you can get the head back about that far and get it down about that far. So that's pretty decent, but it looks a little bit funny when it's uh, up like this and i know you know especially in aliens the second film the aliens spent a lot of time on all fours you know running and things like that um another nitpick i do have is the legs i'm not a fan of the legs uh the legs are reused from other figures these look like i don't know maybe either halo or call of duty upper legs and then the lower legs are very obviously skeletor he even has the boots still molded in and again these are nitpicks these are by no means reasons to not buy this figure um but uh i'm just letting you know what's what's up uh he does have these nice claws which do go over the normal hands uh but again i feel these claws are a little bit too big and bulky i think i would prefer if we got maybe I, i'd be even okay with just the regular hands honestly or if, you know, they just made separate hands. I mean, we got different hands for the Ninja Turtles, you know? So maybe we could get some hands that are just kind of claws, you know? Even if it's just like two fused sets of fingers, I'd be okay with that. Uh, but that's really the, the, the biggest gripes for me are, you know, just the way the neck moves. Uh, maybe the hands, but that's not a big deal and the the lower legs more than anything else i would like to see maybe a little bit longer maybe a little bit thinner uh maybe a little bit sort of like a digit grade and i know in aliens that wasn't really a big thing uh, but I, the, the legs i feel could be a little bit longer just for the size of the figure but uh overall i know i did a lot of nitpicking right there but that all said <laughs> I really do like this figure. Um, I did buy multiple copies of this alien. Uh, I plan on buying more multiple copies of this alien. I am definitely, absolutely going to army build this alien because I really, really do like it. And uh, I really do like having an alien at this scale. Uh, so I'm, I'm just thrilled that I can actually army build and just have waves of aliens going after all of my uh, similarly scaled buildings and things like that so very very cool so that said i love this entire wave of mega constructs heroes i desperately hope they do more with it and i absolutely 
insist <laughs> that Mega Constructs make some darn Aliens sets. Uh, and honestly, I'd love it if they kind of dipped into the Predator franchise. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, yeah, all that said, super awesome. Super awesome, guys. Can't recommend them highly enough. So that is going to do it for this review. I want to thank you so very much for watching, as always. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. It really does help me out. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll be back with more Mega Constructs and so on and so forth as soon as I am able. In the meantime, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Sorry this was so long. Bye for now.